In order to draw or give, we need to find a midpoint, which is 40 plus 44 divided by 2. So we get 42. And we can also see that we can take 40 plus 2, which is 42. For the second one, we can take 45 plus 2, 47. Or you can say 45 plus 49 divided by 2, the same. Okay, 45 become 47, 50, 52, 55, 57, 60, 62, and so on. And then how to find the upper boundary? We take 44 plus 45 divided by 2. So it's 44.5. So 44 plus 0 0.5, right? So you can take 49.5, 54.5 and so on and so forth, right? Okay, that is a shortcut. Cumulative frequency, you have to plus the frequency. 0 plus 0, 0 plus 3, 3, 3 plus 7, 10, 10 plus 13, 23, 23 plus 11, 34, and then so on and so forth until 40, right? Okay, calculate the estimated mean. So we must find the midpoint times the frequency plus another midpoint times 7 plus 57 times 13 plus 62 times 11 plus 67 times 5 plus 72 times 1 over the total frequency. So the answer is 58.375. Alright, now we want to draw augi for the data. Using the scale 2 cm to 5 cm, 5 km per hour. Okay, so we have to use upper boundary and cumulative frequency. And then the scale must follow, right? 2 cm to 5 km per hour on horizontal axis. And vertical axis 2 cm to 5 cm. So, uh, vertical axis you must label cumulative frequency. And horizontal axis will be the upper boundary. So, 0 we will leave it first. We will label 44.5. Okay. Then 49.5 we have 3. We plot the point. The 54.5 is 10. And then uh, 59.5 is 23 uh, and so on. Make sure you plot all the points correctly. And then we need to draw a smooth curve. Make sure the smooth curve passes through all the points. Alright. Based on the OGIF, state the interquartile range. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Third quartile is 3 over 4 of the total minus 1 over 4 times the total. So n is 40, right? So we take 3 over 4 times 40 and 1 over 4 times 40. So that means we want to find the 30th value minus the 10th value. So we will, uh, based on the OGIF, we will go to the vertical axis Cumulative frequency 30, we will read the Q3, and then the 10, based on the OGIF, we will read the data. First quartile, we read the D, third quartile, we read the D. So, we will take 62.5 minus 54.5, the answer is 8.